Hello everybody and welcome back to Ballancray Estate. So as you can see, I'm in full swing here, tidying up the mucky cows. This was a huge pile before I started, uh, but I thought to make a good start, uh, just so that we didn't have to do so much in the video, with it being so messy. Unfortunately, there's some of it which we're not going to be able to get out without using a different mod, such as a conveyor belt, um, because it's stuck in the centre trough area. And we have to actually put the grass in the right hand side trough, over here to dispose of it or when I say dispose I mean give it back to them they actually have 33 and a half thousand litres which is very impressive that's of grass and uh, yeah we do have to give them some more silage bells today so that is job number two I do notice uh, some silage spills over here so we'll get that tidied up as well it's just gonna be a really rough tidy up because yeah like I say we would have to use something like the conveyor belt to clear the surrounding area because we can't obviously get the buckets into the railings and stuff. So, that's all we can do. I have considered using the conveyor belt, and we might get it into the game. It's just we have to have a good reason for having it, otherwise it's just an unnecessary expense. Right, okay, so I'm getting stuck on the roof there. That will have to do. Uh, it doesn't look perfect, but it is a lot neater than it used to be. So we'll close the gate, and... I think, I think we use a different tractor, although I could get the bale attachment for the bobcat, which could be very good, potentially, because the bobcat is just so manoeuvrable, which is why I love it so much. It really is the most perfect machine for this yard, because as you know, everything else is pretty hard to manoeuvre around the tight yard, but the bobcat does it with ease. Okay, so here are our bales. We've got the silage bales just here. We actually do need to tidy up a bit. Uh, the forager is still out, and that is still out as well. Traction trailer. Uh, but yeah, let's just uh, choose from the skid steer loader page the bale fork. So I think we're looking for this one here. We don't need to have the extra elevation, so that should be perfect. I know that they are round bales, but it shouldn't really make much of a difference for us. We just have to have a good trek over to the store. So you can see the cultivated field in front of us. This is the field which cultivated in the previous episode. It is going to have to be replanted, probably today. And it's going to be a cereal crop. So wheat or barley. When we have done a silage harvest, or a maize harvest, in one of our other fields, field number one and field number, what would it be, seven? Yeah. Then uh, at least one of those, possibly even both, they'll be going as a cereal crop too. In fact, we probably will do all three. So we'll have field number one, seven, and whichever one this one is here, 11. Uh, so that'll definitely make it worthwhile uh, leasing the common harvester. Yeah, we've got the strobe. We definitely need the strobe on very important. Okay, so here we are. We're at the store. What we're going to have to do is press X to put the spikes up into the air. This, of course, makes it much safer, and especially when we're pulling out of here, because otherwise the spikes are going to be sticking out into the road, and would most likely skewer a car like a kebab. It, like, I almost, I almost did crash into that car. That could have been terrible. Good job they were taking a look out for crazy drivers in bobcats. So I'm hoping to give these cows quite a lot of these bells. As we know from a previous video, the amount they require is just ridiculous because we have so many cows. I think it's probably going to be around 15 to 20 bales they actually do need. That might be an exaggeration, um, but I do know that they, they take a lot of silage. I think before I was uh, giving them the bales in pairs, so it was filling it really slowly, but two at a time. So this time, if I can get four, that'd be fantastic, but it might be quite challenging to do that. So open safety pins, press O. What does that do? Oh, I see. Down there. Well. Nice bit of animation. We actually want to put the pylons up though. Press V. There we go. This should 
really assist us. Uh, but I don't know, because I've never done four round bells before. Let's hope for the best. It should actually be really good. Let's try it out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Heavy. Very heavy. But I would say definitely possible. Well, that's going to speed things up dramatically. That's very good. I can't believe how stable this machine is. That is the thing with uh, skid steers. They seem incredibly unstable. Like they're always tipping forwards or tipping backwards. Um, but it, it would appear that the amount of weight they can actually take is uh, very impressive. Just takes a bit of careful driving, I suppose, to actually take something quite so heavy. Because this must be seriously heavy. All of this. Well, it should just be a case of dropping it into here. And they should be accepted as silage feed or as silage or feed or whatever there we go so what did that do silage yep you see it's uh, that already has something in there that is just like nothing maybe me saying it requires like, 15 to 20 bales maybe uh, is not an exaggeration at all maybe they actually do require maybe 30 of these because we have so many cows. In fact, yeah, I think I can say very safely that this entire stack of bales here is going to be consumed very quickly. Definitely today. That is so powerful. Picks it up like it's nothing. Giant marshmallows just filled with air. But as we all know, these are not filled with air very tasty silage okay so 16,000 litres at a time we're doing here which is quite impressive uh, in you go go on in you go good so again it's still orange uh, but we have such high figures that Despite it looking bad on the sort of fill bar, it isn't bad at all. It's a massive amount of food. I think we're just going to accept that we're going to have to make a lot of silage. I think what I might do is, um, if we if we totally empty the silage pit, uh, which does still have some silage in it, then we'll put the grass which we got into there and we'll ferment that as well that could work quite well uh, right so those front bales have obviously been knocked over so they're not sat flat so we can't pick those up in a four but we can pick these up in a four Whoop. there we go okay and yep pick them up Possibly picking up the fence as well. That's better. So, yeah, I probably do sound a bit funny because of the recent cold. Um, I'm feeling fine, actually. It's just my voice, which sounds a bit weird. Echinacea is what I've had. Really, really good stuff. It does seem to reduce the, the length of time you have a cold for. Right, so... It's gone green. Almost 70,000 litres. Amazing. So we'll just finish off. We'll get the rest of them. We'll bring them across. And uh, yeah, that'll be the silage done for today. Hopefully. We will then have quite a bit of... Was it water? Something else was really required. Oh, straw. Uh, well, the straw is in storage. But it's blocked in. With the grass. One left. That's all done. Now for the final bale. I think, yeah, there must be 4,000 litres each to get a figure of 16 for four. So, final 4,000 litres here. Trying to pick it up. That was a bit of a fail. 
There we go. Right. Uh, there are the sheep as well. I keep forgetting about the sheep. We've actually got a full pallet of uh, wool, it would appear. So that probably needs to be sold too. But there we go. The silage is done. Our entire supply of silage bales has been consumed. Uh, there is still space for some more silage, but I don't think we need to do it today because they're absolutely near the limit. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, the grass is very good as well. Water. They could do with some more water, but again, it, it's not too bad. Power food, definitely, but I don't think we have a mixer yet. So, yeah, I think we'll move on. We shall move on. Straw. I would love to do some straw. As I explained, uh, <laughs> it is a bit blocked in, so we could get the bucket and clear like a, a passageway through here. Probably won't be too difficult. Yes, I will do. I'll just put this down here. It's a bit of yard work today, a bit of just maintenance of the cows pretty much. So here's the bucket, and yeah, I think actually, I keep saying this over and over again, because I've been trying to work out if it is the best thing to do, um, but I'm now fairly convinced that we do need to buy some different buildings for the new yard extension which we did. Uh, in the way of mods, it's going to have to be modded buildings, uh, because I think that the ones which we've got already are just a bit too big. So yeah, I'm going to have to use those links which people have sent me, which is fantastic, because there are quite a few different modded buildings out there, or mod buildings. Uh, different sheds it could be very useful for us now, I, I think there is actually space, believe it or not for some more grass in the cow's trough so it's a good way of disposing of this I suppose the sheep also they could probably do some or is it full? nope it is taking it, uh, but it's so close. Probably one more bucket load. Whiz back over here. I just want to move enough for us to be able to get through and get the straw bales, basically. Should be okay. Yeah, we should be able to get through here. I could always scoop some up and just move to the side. We'll put this in the cow's trough, just to totally fulfil the requirements of grass. Oh, weird camera. It's the one attached to the bucket. So there we go. Still isn't full. I suppose 40,000 litres would be the maximum for that one. Uh, but yep, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. We may have to do some more customising in the uh, yard extension to be able to actually fit these different buildings in uh, but I would like it to follow vaguely the same footprint if we can do otherwise it might just become a bit too big and out of control right so we'll just pile this up over here just to the left hand side put it back onto the other camera and uh, yeah we're going to have to take the bucket off uh, probably just behind us we can turn on the spot it's what I absolutely love about the skid steer. Do you think it would glitch if I put it on here? It did. That was kind of predictable. Well, it didn't really glitch. It just went through an object which wasn't collisioned. It has no collision on it. Which I would say is a good thing, because the amount of things you could get caught on in this yard with it being so tight, uh, that would just be uh, painful, really, if you're getting stuck on that as well. Right, so, let's grab, how many do we need? Four. Four of these straw bales. It's a huge amount. It's actually really good visibility too. Okay, right, that should do. Four straw bales. I think I'm going to have to have this skid steer on every map because it's rare that I can pick up four. That is impressive. 
Right. Okay, so, this, as you'll know if you've watched my other videos, is where we take it to, I've just remembered. There we go. So, what's that done for us? Oh, look at that. So, it is going to take another four, and even that is not going to fill it, so actually it'll probably take another six. I would try and pick up six, but we don't have six. And to be honest, it's probably a good thing that we can't do, because, yeah, I think six would uh, more than likely flip this thing over forwards. Four is, I would say, its safe limit. Because otherwise, yeah, it is just spending more time on two wheels than it is four. So it's really quickly put this into here. And it's actually going dark. I think we might actually buy the uh, harvester. Ready for the next episode. Because I'm fairly sure we don't have a maze harvester. Yeah, pretty sure we don't. So what we would be looking for is, if we go into the correct category, forage harvesters, uh, something like this basically, because uh, it has to actually be able to cut the maze, and that's what this can do. There is also the Pottinger Mex 5, which actually has a working width of 2.2 meters. Uh, the problem with it is it's 38,000 pounds and requires 150 horsepower. So, with this only requiring 80, and only 0.2 meters less in width, I would say this is the perfect machine for us, and it's only 7,200. Although it likely would be used, uh, but I think we can uh, live with that. So let's buy it. It's something we can buy outright, definitely. And just thinking about it, I think we're okay for trailers, because I did buy the two Massey Ferguson trailers, and the silage version should be absolutely perfect. Oh, that's me out of control. Yeah, it just doesn't seem right uh, driving the skid steer loader with a steering wheel, which is what I'm doing. It never has felt right. In fact, <laughs> with skid steer loaders, I've always preferred to use the keyboard. It's the only machine where I would prefer to use a keyboard. Okay, so we'll put this here. Turn the strobe off many different uh, options I think on the strobe like off and on I actually did think there was a few different settings but that must be a different mod anyway let's go and grab it so which is the best tractor for this 390T seems a good tractor we'll put the Bowser just over here that's the trailer we're going to use so if we're going to tow the trailer, which we probably are, with the same tractor as the Forager, we need to really use the highest horsepower tractor, which I think is the Fiat. However, how much power would it actually take? Like, if we're using a 90 horsepower tractor, and it requires 80, is 10 horsepower extra enough just to tow it? I would say it's debatable. It probably isn't, because it is not a flat map. It's pretty hilly rolling countryside, uh, so it will be quite tough to be able to pull us a weight up a hill while actually uh, harvesting the crop. So we could just try it. We could just try it on the Massey Ferguson first and then if it can't do it then we just put it on the Fiat. We've got nothing to lose really. I'm not against using the Fiat, it's just I think it is my most used tractor. I'm fairly sure I have used that more than anything else, so it would be nice to use the Massey Ferguson's too. We actually have a few of these, I think we have at least two. Um, I would say they're a very similar horsepower. 80 or 90. This one's 90, I think. But yeah, we'll probably start off with the nearest field to us, which is field number 7. Might try it out today and then just do the rest of it in the next episode. If I do anything today, It'll only be a small amount because, yeah, I want to really cram it into the one episode and time lapse it and all and everything. Okay, so that's looking physically very big. Is that transport mode? That is all folded up. Okay, so that is our width. Obviously, it'll become even wider when it's in uh, field mode. It looks a bit small, the tractor, for the forager. 
especially with a big trailer behind. So yeah, looking at it, I think we will be using the Fiat. There is also the Fast Track, actually, which many people keep asking me to buy. I did actually get rid of a load of big tractors because it was just too big for the yard. So at the moment, I'm going to say no. But obviously, if there's a really huge demand from everybody for me to get the Fast Track, the one in the uh, Modern Classics pack, then I will, of course, get it. So typical that a car was coming just as we needed to turn. Well, at least we can try it out today. We can see how it does for power. We've got to go and hitch it onto the trailer. And then it'll be straight into fill number 7, which is just over there. Look at the pile of dung. It's huge. Absolutely massive. Okay, so again, we're going to have to obviously use uh, a different tractor to cars. So maybe it's just easier once it's in the headland to put it onto a different tractor and to use Follow Me. I'd say it might be. But doing the first headland is always the trickiest thing. I've left the gate open. Good job I checked, or good job I saw it, more like, uh, otherwise <laughs> that would have been quite a, a crash. The trailer would have probably pushed the forager, the forager would have probably leapt up into the air. It's all very dramatic here in, in uh, Dagwin's videos, as you can see. Right, excitement out of the way, or excitement averted, let's begin, let's try this out. Of course, yeah, we have to do the pipe first, and we have to unfold it as well. There we go. Right, so my foot is to the floor. Initial thoughts, pretty good. It's actually managing that okay. When we turn and start to go more uphill, that will be the deciding factor. Um, but no, so far that is pretty impressive. It's only a two row, I think, so it's going to take a while. But look how fast it's filling up. It's amazing. Right, let's try this out. It's already a third full. And we're only about halfway around the field. And it's a tiny field. We're going to have a lot of silage, which is probably no bad thing actually, because we've got loads of cows. Very hungry cows. But I think you can probably see why I want to do this at a time lapse, because otherwise it is just going to take way too long to do. The problem with doing a time lapse is it makes the video very short. Sixty percent full. Wow. But horsepower does not seem to be a problem. Obviously, the trailer isn't totally full yet, so it's going to get heavier. Uh, but it's not even struggling. But it is a massive. So <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there. To be fair, though, it says eighty horsepower. It is ninety, so it is ten over what it says. That's very good. So it's going to be a full load every headland we take off. Of course, we'll be moving further into the field and we'll probably start going up and down the field, but wow. That is a rapid fill. Okay, this gate here. The collision does tend to stick out on these gates. And now we are full. Good grief. So that's 14,000 litres of chaff which I'm assuming will convert into 14,000 litres of silage which is <laughs> going to be worth a fortune goodness me right well we'll leave it there uh, that's all for the next episode doing all the rest of this uh, thank you so much for watching and until that episode see you again soon bye for now